name is Lucio Simone. I'm the engineering manager for BC Group. And in this video, we'll be demonstrating the NABP simulation using an NABP 1040. In this case, we're testing a Mindray PM9000 monitor. We have the standard cuff that would normally be used on the patient. And we have several adapters available based on the cuff type. So the first step we have to do is put the T into the tubing between the monitor and the cuff. So we'll go ahead and connect that there, and then we connect the other end to the top of the NABP. It's important that the cuff be wrapped tightly, either around itself or around a uh, firm uh, cylinder, uh, either a water bottle or uh, something of that size that will reduce the volume inside the cuff. If we just leave it unrolled, it'll have too much volume and the monitor won't get a good signal. So all we have to do is have our T connected and our cuff wrapped, and we'll start the NABP simulation on the monitor. We can see the pressure rising on the screen of the NABP 1040, and it's also monitoring peak pressure during the simulation. Now this unit shows peak, but uh, we have several uh, very various models of the NABP that are available. There's a compatibility chart on uh, available on the website that will show which model has each feature. So if you're looking for the peak pressure, uh, make sure that you get a unit that uh, does have that feature. And in this case, the, the monitor is measuring the pressure. The NABP is simulating the pressure, and once it gets a good reading, it'll be displayed on the monitor. Now, this was our first measurement. The cuff was completely deflated, and there's always a little bit of residual pressure in the cuff in between measurements. So it's always good to run a second measurement just to make sure that now we're at a uh, stable state. To reset the peak pressure, all I have to do is press the reset button on the NABP 1040, and that will reset that reading. And we'll allow it to get a measurement again, and we'll see what it comes up with. There we go, 120 over 81. So in this case, uh, different monitors may respond to our algorithm for simulating uh, blood pressure. In this case, we got a reading of 120 over 81, which is pretty close to what we're expecting. By default, the NABP will start up with a simulation of 120 over 80 pressure. We can easily change that by selecting the press uh, select button and we'll cycle through all of the available uh, pressures and simulation modes that are available on our NIBP simulator. In this case, uh, it was 120 over 80 what was set, and we had 120 over 81 that was measured. Now, all of the Mindray monitors should measure the same. Uh, the same goes for GE or Philips or uh, whichever manufacturer you're testing. And you may want the, to have your measurement match exactly what you're simulating. So you may have a set of uh, offsets uh, for each particular manufacturer. It's easy to set those offsets by going into the setup menu. And in this case, we can see that the systolic and the diastolic shift are both set to zero. So if I really wanted that uh, diastolic measurement to be exactly uh, 80, I could go into my diastolic shift, maybe set it up for minus one. Now these measurements aren't exactly one to one, what we set in the screen here as far as adjusting the pressure. And that's based on the different algorithms that each manufacturer has. But it's a rough start, setting this to minus one should give me about minus one uh, millimeters of mercury. So we'll go ahead and press the return button to save that. And now I can see on my screen, the main screen changed to show me that I'm using an offset in my simulation. And I'll go ahead and take another measurement. Now this may take a few uh, iterations. Uh, if you have uh, you know, two to three millimeters that you're trying to adjust, uh, it may take a couple of iterations again because the adjustment is not exactly one to one based on what algorithm the monitor is using to measure that pressure.
And in this case, we can see that the measurement adjusted by two. So maybe we would set that to minus a half if we wanted to get that to exactly uh, 120 over 80. So that concludes the basic features of the NABP 1040 and NABP simulation. For more details on BC Biomedical products, visit us on the web at bcgroupstore.com. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like further information, please contact us at 800-242-8428 or for international calls, be sure and dial the plus one for the U.S. 314-638-3800 or you can email us at sales at bcgroupintl.com. For more information about our extensive line of BC Biomedical products and other vendor alliances, browse BC Marketplace located at bcgroupstore.com.